Hello! So, for the last 14 years or so, <laughs> I've had a song stuck in my head from an internet meme that I'm going to link to below with, you know, the links to my material list and my Etsy shop and Instagram and Facebook, etc. Um, and today I'm going to be painting something that is inspired by that ancient meme that the internet has so thoughtfully wiggled into my brain forever. So I'm going to be starting with some dry paper. I'm using B paper. It's my favorite paper in the whole world. Um, I just really like it. <laughs> so I'm going to be uh, adding a first layer of red to the mushrooms. And there's my cat. <laughs> the red I'm using is like quinacridone rose, I believe. And it's a lot more pink than actually red. But I'm going to be layering for a while, and it's going to darken quite a bit um, as I go, which kind of makes up for it, but I honestly just really like how bright and whimsical it is, whereas I could choose like an actual red, it just wouldn't be the same, I don't know, it wouldn't feel the same to me, so I'm going to choose to go with this rose color. For my greens, I'm actually going to be creating greens from a series of blues and yellows that I have on my palette. While I do have a green on my palette, I really just kind of prefer making my own as I go because it gives it more of a dynamic sort of interesting to look at green. It's not one shade, but it's a whole bunch of shades. Um, I've also added a little bit of yellow and I'm going to just kind of dab that in there as I go. So for this green snake, I'm going to be um, dropping in all these different greens onto a wet paper. It's a wet on wet technique. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and uh, wet the snake with clean water. I am using slightly tinted water because I wanted it to be able to show up in the video. Um, and then I'm just going to go ahead and drop the greens in and uh, layer that until I'm satisfied.
So these mushrooms that I'm painting are based off of Amanita muscaria, which are a hallucinogenic mushroom that, from what I understand, actually inspired the Super Mario power-up mushrooms. So that's pretty awesome. In case you're wondering about this whistling music in the background, I just want to let you know that my friend Dylan of Clownfish Hat is an amazing musician and I asked him to create me a piece that I could use in these videos and he did and it's amazing. Uh, I'll link to him below. So it's about done. Thank you very much for watching. If you'd like a print or to purchase the original or a print of it before I painted it, you can find all that in my Etsy shop, which I will link to below. Have an awesome day!